right, everyone say hi to chat. They're here. Woohoo! Hey. Hey. Cool. Hi, chat. Uh, <laughs> so, we are playing um, a very normal script that doesn't have any shenanigans, uh, which is Trouble Brewing, uh, but also uh, Trouble Brewing plus one. So, one of the characters, either in play or as a bluff, um, or not in play at all, uh, will be something not from TB. It'll be from somewhere else in Clock Tower. It might be another uh, base three character from SNV or BMR. It might be an experimental character. It almost certainly will not be something that completely breaks the game and makes it unsolvable and unfun. It, like you already know, it will not be a heretic. It probably also won't be a sample because then you have to have to double tap and that would also not be great. Um, so someone in chat has immediately said Legion. I, it will not be Legion, <laughs> but <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, but it, it, it might be something, it might exist, it might be a bluff. Um, the, uh, just because it's funny, uh, you should all know that um, one of our friends made a fabled token for this mechanic. Uh, they called it Plussy McOneFace, uh, which is a fantastic name. And <laughs> regrettably, the app does not have the Plussy McOneFace fabled because it's definitely real and exists. Um, yeah, so we are, we are gonna do this the old school way, which is that someone might receive the drunk token either as their character or as a bluff. And if you do receive the drunk token, then you are the plus one. And I will come and let you know either what that bluff is or what your character is so that you will know. Um, but only you, <laughs> only you will know, and it'll be great. Uh, so I'm gonna go, oh, the person who wanted Legion is a damn it. <laughs> and then they said Legion is a bluff. <laughs> so <laughs> we are gonna, <laughs> we'll work on this. This is good. This is the energy that we want for this stream. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go uh, set up a game with, with chat and I will see you all in a few minutes. All right. Oh man, I just had a moment of like panicking because I usually look for the campfire <laughs> and the names. This is a fun little app thing. The names of the rooms are different depending on what script you're playing. So when you play Trouble Brewing, you get all of these rooms, and when you do custom scripts, you get a campfire. Uh, yeah. The more you know. Let's uh, let's set up let's set up a game. Um, okay. So important question for you. Ooh, yes, um, Astenyi, to answer your question, the spy will see everyone's token, which would include the plus one. Um, so if there is a plus one in the game, like not, if it's a bluff, like they'll see it as a bluff. If it's actually a character in play, they'll see, they'll see the drunk token because that through the app is what I have to send, but I will also put a little note. So they would also see what it is and they could always ask me. Um, ooh, lots of interesting suggestions here. Um, I feel like everyone has immediately jumped to evil as the plus one, which is always really fun because I think doing it as a bluff can be really interesting. Um, I think I'm leaning away from something confirmable just because I think, like, you know, we already have a virgin on Trouble Brewing. We already have a slayer. Not that that is going to go off in every game, um, but those already exist. Um, and, ooh, Savant, I was actually thinking about Savant earlier. I'm a little hesitant just because Savant is very info heavy, but I do, I do love, I literally just was telling a story to my players earlier about a very sneaky and kind of evil, de very devious piece of Savant information I gave in a game last night. Oh my God, flower girl, give him homework. <laughs> Um, my partner's across the room going mutant, mutant, <laughs> so, which I actually think could be really, really good just because with the drunk, on TB, if you have a mutant in play, they can't claim it while they're alive, and so people might go around thinking that there's a drunk, uh, which could make things very- oh, Boom Dandy would be very sneaky. <laughs> yes. For the sake of my players, it is going to be from Clock Tower, so the limitations are that the plus one, it should- it doesn't have to be from one of the base scripts, it doesn't have to be an SNV or BMR character, but it does have to be a released- character from the pandemonium institute so not a uh, not a homebrew character and not something that's not from the blood on the clock tower canon just because otherwise it might not be fair to the players because they might not like know every character like i expect that of the players in this game like every one of them is familiar enough with all of the released characters from the pandemonium institute that they'll be comfortable um playing in a game where any one of those characters, like if somebody says, I'm the lycanthrope, like everyone would know what that is. Um, 
So yeah, no, I, I know I genuinely did think earlier. I was like, we could do the orthodontist. That'd be very silly. But I actually don't know. I think the only thing with a mouth on this is like the Raven Keeper and the Scarlet Woman, which is it feels too limiting. So, <laughs> so there's a lot of a lot of good things. Um, ooh, Innkeeper could be fun too. Like instead of a monk. Um, yeah, I think that could actually be quite quite sneaky because then we could have some extra drunkening which i don't hate um innkeeper is pro is super balanced bounty hunter is quite sneaky because then we could have oh yes i can up my volume a little bit um let me fix that for a second um can i maybe mm, it's already all the way up so i will just be louder and my partner will suffer the consequences um so <laughs> The, all right, Bounty Hunter is quite sneaky. Um, I think, let's see. My thoughts with Bounty Hunter are that I'm maybe, a, if we do Bounty Hunter, because I'm not fully against it, I think having an extra evil could be really interesting and having an evil townsfolk is extremely fun. I love evil townsfolk. If we have a Bounty Hunter, I think we're gonna need to give them a really strong town. And yeah, Mar Marionette is really fun. I run a lot of Trouble Brewing plus Marionette just as a script. I think it's a fantastic script. Would highly recommend it, especially for groups where you have players that are really comfortable with Trouble Brewing, but they're maybe like not quite ready to move into sort of like the broader space of experimental characters. Like that's a fantastic one. Um, oh my God, Evil Virgin. Evil Virgin, I think is a little bit too strong just because they can self-nominate at like the worst possible time. But I think, I think I kind of want to go for the bounty hunter. I'm, I'm vibing with the bounty hunter right now, which is insane because that's not what I thought I would do. Um, and my partner is making sad faces at me from across the room and continuing to advocate for the mutant. Um, but yeah, I think what we do is we do bounty hunter and then we put in a bunch of like really strong townsfolk. And that feels... That feels mostly balanced. And we can put in a recluse as the outsider because then if, like, we can, that'll help us balance. Because if evil is doing really badly, like, we can ping off of the recluse. If evil is doing really well, we can sort of let that be. Um, okay, so let's yeah i oh god i love evil townsfolk to, so don't even get me started on evil amnesiacs in one of the very very earliest games of blood on the clock tower i ever played um we had a bounty it was a it was a 24 hour text game of a day to remember which is a, a story in and of itself um, but a day to remember is a fantastic script that's designed around the doomsayer fabled um it's by boar and the idea behind the script is that it is a one day script so players use um, the doomsayer which um, basically tells people you know what they can um, like if you if you doomsay during a game you can uh, kill someone else of your alignment like storyteller will decide that somebody else who is aligned with you dies um, so anyways this game I don't we, we really went off on a tangent here long story short evil amni whose ability was the first good player to say the word egg dies immediately it was fantastic uh we're not yeah there's no amni on this there could be but there's not because there's going to be a bounty hunter uh let's let's build the rest of the script before i get even more distracted um okay i think i want to stay away from a spy just because i like the balance of the evil team having to figure out what that plus one is and also realizing we have a teammate what do we do with that um how do we find them can we find them can that person work with our team and play for our team oh thanks for the subscription um yeah so i think and i think i also want a scarlet woman because that'll give us some some cover and maybe a poisoner um just because that's a way for them to i was gonna say nerf the bounty hunter which isn't wrong but i think more like if they find that bounty hunter they can choose how to balance that they can figure out like if they want to um yeah to balance the bounty hunter with that or not um i think let's yeah let's have i i said strong townsfolk and i'm gonna stick with that let's have an empath let's have a fortune teller 
Undertaker could be nice because they will see an evil townsfolk as their role. Um, oh, and we're going to click. Oh, I can't click the drunk token. Oh, no. Okay. Um, well, I will just put in a second outsider token and go tell that person that they, that problem solved. Uh, we are doing trouble brewing plus one. So there's going to be a mystery character that the players don't know um, that is just in play as well. So I think what we will do is stick in a saint token and it's because I just learned right now that I'm not allowed to click the drunk token. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, the saint will be the bounty hunter and we will go to that player and be like, you're not the saint. If it's Richie, he will be wildly disappointed, but then incredibly excited. So it's fine. So that's our bounty hunter, just so we know. And I will change the token to the drunk because I think I will be able to do that once we've distributed the characters. Um, yeah, and then let's see. Let's have... We could have a monk. I think monk is probably good here. Um, and then let's see. Maybe... I want at least one top four because that's a lot of info right now. Um, let's see. Let's have... I'm I'm very tempted by the evil mayor, but... I, I worry that there's maybe not enough information that good can get off of that. Um, yeah, I I will definitely advocate to, to Brain that um, this feature should be toggleable. <laughs> we did have a little bit of a talk earlier about the mechanics for this sort of thing, uh, because this is, yeah, this is very much like on our own making this up. This is not like endorsed by the pandemonium it's, it's endorsed by me but i'm not speaking on behalf of the pandemonium institute when i endorse this as a, as a, a game mode <laughs> let's um yeah i think i want an investigator and a washerwoman maybe yeah i'm i'm a little torn because i think i like the the evil mayor but i think i need to just let that go and and trust that like there will be other evil mayors and that's okay um all right so that's 11 let me just like sit for a second and think about if i like this i think i think i do yeah um ooh alternatively we could have a chef because a chef might get a higher than normal number, which might help with the whole bounty hunter situation. I think I like that. So let's have a chef and let's maybe take out the, <laughs> let's take out the investigator because that bounty hunter is gonna serve a very similar purpose to the investigator. So I think we're actually okay without it. Um, and then as bluffs, we can give them at least one of the outsiders we can give them like ravenkeeper mayor or maybe we just do ravenkeeper investigator mayor yeah i'm happy with that all right and then yeah we'll have to have a think about which one of those townsfolk is going to be evil but i think we can take a look so just as a reminder for chat that saint token is actually going to be our bounty hunter uh just because we couldn't send out the drunk token and so we'll visit whoever gets the saint token and tell them just kidding you're the bounty hunter surprise hooray um yeah Let's, uh, let's see what happens. All right, this is going to be spicy. Oh, so Claire is our bounty hunter. That will be a lot of fun. All right, and I will, oh, this is a good, this is a good evil team. All right, this will be very, very silly. Let's, um, let's go put him to sleep. Have a, have a do. All I need right. to practice to get good at being Claire. Well, I need to practice uh, well, I told you I and we'll play, on, you we'll play on Saturday I need to practice sending you all to sleep so I'm gonna do that right now boom, practice, nailed it you, you all have tokens, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep, excellent um, yep. very seamless there, Jams thank nailed you, it. I think I crushed that so. <laughs> nailed it, Jams nailed it <laughs> alright, so let's see what we have here we have um we're going to change Claire's token right away to drunk uh, and then make a note next to her in all caps so that everyone knows. It says bounty hunter. Um, excellent. Uh, this is so normal and good. Um, I actually think, yeah, evil fortune teller could be really fun because, oh, then the chef number is going to be really interesting. 
yeah, I think um, I'm I'm down. I'm not gonna think about that too much further. Um, mm, am I? Maybe I am. Maybe I don't want the fortune teller to be evil because that's a lot of that's a lot of information. I think I think we should make George evil actually because then there's just a massive line over here uh, with JC in it. So. And that feels a little more balanced. Um, Daniel's also got protection because if people are looking at a high chef number and operating off of empath and chef information, they're gonna be looking away from Daniel, who is the one that needs to stay alive. So yeah, I think I think George is gonna be the evil monk. So that's actually gonna be quite funny because George will also know what the <laughs> missing, <laughs> missing character is. Um, yeah, and then we said investigator, raven keeper. Whenever I'm setting something up like this, mayor, uh, I always am like, is this a big mistake? We don't have to give a three also. Like, we could give a two with this setup. Um, so I think it's maybe not the worst. Um, yeah, let's, um... Either way, I think first we'll need to visit Claire. We can talk in the night about what chef number we're gonna give, because we've got a lot of options. Um, we could give, so we can technically, we, we cannot, if with George as the evil character, we cannot give a zero, uh, because that forces a one uh, with Richie and George together. We could give a one, we could give a two, um, because we could say that the two is Richie and George, and then either George and JC or JC and Brendan, uh, or we could give a three if we say it's Brendan and JC as one, JC and George as two, George and Richie as three. So we've got, uh, so it actually can, it can register, it's basically every single instance of a pair is unique when you're counting chef pairs, so you could say, oh, JC is registering evil when I am counting JC compared to George. JC is registering as good when I am counting him relative to Brandon. So it is wild, but that is, yeah, that is actually how it works with the chef number. So you, we could give a one, a two, or a three with George as the evil monk. Um, my sense is that it might be really interesting to give a two. Um, just because the, the minions are the ones on the ends and that might give them a little bit more protection. Um, and also, I I hesitate to give a three because I think the three would confirm to George where his teammates are if he gets that chef number. And if I were him, I might be looking for that chef to try and get information about like where the other evil players might be. Um, so yeah, I think this will be, this will be an interesting one. Um, let's start with Claire. And let her know what she actually is. Food and drink it's like an airport lounge. Yeah, you get like afternoon tea. Hello. Hello. Um, so funny story. Uh, it turns out yeah. that the app is so good at what it does that you can't actually send a player the drug token. Uh, so we sent you the same oh. token. But oh. you oh, okay. are All right. in fact the plus one. You are the bounty hunter. Ooh, that's exciting. Indeed. So I've just I've come here to let you know that now you will get your information later in the night. Um Okay. But yeah, you're the bounty hunter, you are on the good team, and I wish you luck. Now <laughs> you're not about to come back and tell me I'm the evil one. You are good. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Cheers. Bye. Alrighty, and for those, because I just realized, since it's not in the script, we do want people to know, uh, the Bounty Hunter ability is each night, including the first, uh, you learn an evil player. If that player dies, you learn a new evil player. I don't know if that's the exact wording of it, but that's what it does. Uh, and the setup component of the Bounty Hunter ability is that one Townsfolk player specifically is on the evil team. So that is why George is going to be the evil monk. Um, George will not learn any of the other evil players. Is He is still a townsfolk. Um, if any role in the game exists that might interact with um, like learning about townsfolk characters, they would simply lurch that learn that George is the monk, so they would not learn his um, alignment. They'd just learn, like if, if George is killed during the day, for example, they would learn 
an undertaker would learn monk. Uh, but if a washerwoman were to see George, like they might see that like George or someone is the monk. If they were next to an empath, however, like they would register as evil because that is their alignment. Um, and in this case, where it is relevant in this setup, uh, they can and will register to the chef ability because they are an evil player. So, um, oh yay, thank you bot for being so helpful. <laughs> very useful very good to have all right let's uh let's get on with our with our night let's um start by telling our evil team what the deal is um and then we will uh let george know that he's evil hey hey howdy how's it going it's going how are you doing good good to see your face yeah you do how are you? How are you feeling about being the poisoner this game? Well, that kind of threw me off because I think I saw a token before, maybe mayor. So then okay. I was like, oh, oh yeah, when you like log in, you it usually keeps whatever token you were like the last time that you oh. were on or the last one that was in that seat. So yeah, sometimes you see a different one, but yes, you are the evil poisoner. Um, okay. And okay. I'm gonna let you know that Richie is your fellow minion. Mm -hmm. Nice. And Daniel nice. is your demon. Cool. Awesome. Cool. That, that feels good. Daniel oh, yeah. and Richie. That's a, okay. that's a great um, team. I think this is a strong team. Um, shall I just randomly guess who I should poison? Like, I always wonder, like, what technique you should take for the first time, because you don't know anyone yet. I feel like you should just send it. There's so many options. Like, I know some people who are like, oh, I really want to poison somebody who's like next to an evil player because they might be somebody who could get information. I know people who are mm -hmm. like, I like I sometimes like to poison somebody who I don't know at all because I'm like, people will mm -hmm. think that I've poisoned somebody that I know really well. But like, so I might just mm -hmm. do someone else entirely. Sometimes like just send it on whoever just because it's fun. Sometimes I like to pick people who are really paranoid because I'm like, oh, maybe Maybe like they'll go crazy thinking about this, like think themselves a circle. Like there's so many options. There's no wrong answers. Like just have fun with it. Yeah. Well, I will say socially, George was just really happy whenever he got his token, like too happy. Okay. So I'm gonna poison George, hoping that it. his happiness is a tell to him having a strong will. Sounds great. Thank you so much. All right. Talk to you soon. Yeah, she's seeing a bit. All right, and if you can just press delete or backspace, um, that way I can keep talking to chat and hear. Sweet. Cool. Awesome. All right, that is deeply funny. Um, I did have a moment where I was thinking there, if Brandon were to poison JC, then JC could not register as evil, which would mean the chef would have to get a one. Um, so, oh, that's a fun one. I like the idea of people getting, um, using just like rolling a dice or something. I think it's kind of fun as a player to like have different methods. And like I said, like truly, I believe there's no wrong way to play this, especially on the first night when everything's random anyways, like so many different things. Okay, this is great. That poison doesn't affect anything, um, which is actually pretty balanced for now. I think like if he had hit, you know, Lorinda or Claire, for example, that could have been really, really powerful. Um, let's talk to rest of our evil team and then we've got some setup choices to make. Hey, hey. Alrighty. So, Brandon is your fellow minion. Okay, nice. Uh, and... I reckon he's the Baron. I think you're in a Baron mood. Okay, yep. Fair enough. Uh, Daniel is the demon. Oh, Daniel's going to be the M. I know that. I know that. Huh? Nailed it. Have fun. Brilliant. Cheers. Alright, and let's grab <sighs> Daniel. Thanks for that. I don't know if, how loud that burp was in the background. <laughs> hey, hey. Hello, I'm at the lunatic. Um, the in the interest of like non green breaking things, uh, the, I, I, uh, no, <laughs> you are the oh. demon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, for the sake of the game being fun for you, I'm just gonna. Yep, not. <laughs> I see no reason to like lead you on and be like that's not. I mean, tempting, right? Um. Yeah, I don't know about you, but anytime I get a lunatic token, like if I'm playing in person, it's like the storytellers put the lunatic token in the bag. I pull it out. I have that moment of like blue token. <gasps> <Yeah>. No, <laughs> every time. 
<laughs> Anyways. Um, your minions are Richie and Brandon. Excellent, thank you. And three roles that are out of play are Investigator, mm -hmm. Ravenkeeper, and Mayor. Mm -hmm. Mayor, thank you. Brilliant. Cheers. Cheers. Alrighty. So let's um let's talk to George. I'm just delaying all of the decision making. This is fine. Hi. Hello. This is weird. Um, you are evil. I love that. Okay. Great. Thank Great. you. Excellent. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. So for those who have just arrived, this is Trouble Brewing plus one. Um, and so basically, um, it is a normal game of Trouble Brewing with the caveat that one character, either in play or a bluff, um, might be not from Trouble Brewing. <laughs> so in this case, um, we have decided to go with a bounty hunter as our character, which is not on the script. You can use exclamation point bounty hunter to read the bounty hunter ability in the chat. Um, but in short, the bounty hunter learns an evil player. Uh, they start knowing one person who's evil. Um, and then if and when that person dies, they will get to learn another person who is evil. Um, and in as part of that ability to balance it out, exactly one townsfolk will be evil. So Claire is our bounty hunter. She is on the good team. George is the monk. He is evil. So he is on the evil team, but he does not know who the rest of the evil team is. And the rest of the evil team does not know that George is their teammate. So that should be a fun little puzzle for our players. Um, we have told George that he is evil. We have told Claire that she has the bounty hunter ability since we don't have a token for that in this setup. Claire just has the drunk token as her token. Um, and we've got a little note that says bounty hunter here. Um, and yeah, the evil team knows what's what and who's who. So I think let's maybe think about um, what to do with our townsfolk information. We have a couple things going on. One is that Ellen needs a red herring. I'm thinking Amy Rose, uh, just because she's gonna have the other most powerful information in the game, and that's probably a good balance. Um, the chef needs to get a number. I think two is like rated. It's not overpowered, but it's decently balanced. Um, we did talk through this earlier and I'm just trying to be mindful of the time. Um, and then the, oh, that's a really good point that George could claim bounty hunter. I like that um, as a play. I think like he has so many, so many options. Um, I do think hiding the monk would be extremely funny for a lot of reasons. Um, and then, I mean, the thing with Monk that's quite useful, honestly, is he knows that Monk is out of play, so he could, in theory, try and find really powerful townsfolk, and then if he manages to find another e evil player, all of a sudden go around and start, like, telling people um, what the deal is with, like, hey, like, if he finds the demon, he could be like, hey, this um, this person's the fortune teller, or if he finds the poisoner, hey, this is the undertaker, like, you should poison them. So I think there's, there's some options there. Um, and then Lorinda needs to see someone. And I think maybe I want to give Lorinda Alex, just because again, I this is a in, there's an extra evil player, so I want Town to have a lot of good information. Um, and I think let's yeah, let's give them Alex and honestly, we could give George as the other one, just to give George some stuff to play around with. That might actually be kind of fun. Um, and the question there is just, yeah, I, th I think Undertaker, because George could bluff Undertaker just for fun and they f start framing Alex as a spy. Like there's a lot of options there. So I think I think that's a good amount to play around with. So yeah, let's, um, let's grab Lorinda. Hey, hey. Hello. You are on a roll, good yet again. Yeah, here we go again. <laughs> definitely not an outsider, definitely sober. Totally. Uh, well, I will uh, let you know that they're, um, I'm, I'm showing you an Undertaker token. Ooh. Oh, uh, you see that either George or Alex 
is the Undertaker. Cool. I'm going to approach neither of them and see what happens. Let's Excellent. See how that goes down. Okay. Love that for Thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's fun. I I quite like that as a strategy because I think that'd be interesting just to get a sense and maybe see if you have a read on like how those people are playing. Like, um, yeah, this should be um, this should be good. Um, all right. Yes. Yes. So there is a monk in play. George is the monk. He's just also evil because Claire is the bounty hunter. Um, we've got a big note here that says bounty hunter. Um, so hopefully <laughs> we can keep, hopefully it'll become increasingly more obvious over the course of the game uh, what the deal is there. Let's go give Rob a two. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good, good. Cool. Um, well, I, um, I, I I saw your big poofy hat, and I um, I admired it so much that I had to come over and uh, tell you two. 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 Cool. Thank yep. you. Cheers. That's a fun number. Indeed. Thank you. I thought so. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Um, okay, let's see. So we've got that sorted um we now need to go to amy and let her know zero we'll need to get ellen's picks and then i think that's no we need to give claire someone uh, then that will be it come on she does look happy whatever they're talking about so we will get there Hey, hey. Sorry, I was I was conversationing. I could kind of tell. I was like, I can see you grinning so clearly. So like, not no worries at all. It happens all the time. Literally, me when I like wake up in the night and the story like in a game, so the story tries like tapping me, and I'm just like, like me well, whenever I'm running like... games in person, I'm like very actively like I'll wait until someone's done with whatever they're saying and then be like, now, now, <laughs> just because. <laughs> I don't want people to be like outed, but at the same time, like I remember one game, like I literally, I was the DA. I got tapped like four times, and I, was, I literally turned to my neighbor and I was like, huh, "Nice, nice whack." And he, started, then I opened my eyes. The story I was like, "You actual moron! Like, what are you doing?" So yeah, it's fine. Um, zero, zero of your neighbors are evil. Excellent. Thank yep. You. Definitely drunk. Cheers. Empaths are real, Amy. <laughs> All right. Let's see who Ellen picks. Hello. Hey. Could you pick two people for me, please? Uh, yes. I will go for Amy Rose and Alex. Amy Rose and Alex. You get a yes? Ooh. Okay, my first instinct was to go for um, JC, and I was like, I think if I go for JC, you're going to give me a yes either way, because... Um, <laughs> But yeah, cool. Thanks very Cheers. much. Yep, you got it. Oh, the ultimate irony that JC is literally the recluse. And so if she had picked JC, I probably, yeah, would have given her a yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> cool. Um, yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I definitely misspoke there, Paladin. That is my bad. Um, I, my brain sometimes just goes too fast for my mouth, and this is the curse of ADHD. Uh, all right, let's, um, let's think about who we should give Claire. I, I am a little bit torn. I think I don't want to give JC right away. Um, and I think it would be very interesting to give Richie, because if I were an evil player, and the plus one was a bluff, and I decided to bluff Bounty Hunter, I probably would pick Richie because Richie is a very easy person to push on. <laughs> so I think I think starting with Richie is all right. Um, it's tough because Richie's the Scarlet Woman and I tend to usually avoid putting pings on Scarlet Woman, um, but I don't hate I, yeah, I think I am going to put the Bounty Hunter on Richie, because I think that'll be a very funny, very interesting one. It might be a little bit tough for Richie, um, but I think if they kill Richie right away, then I will probably give George, just to give the evil team a little bit more time. And also because if they believe Claire, 
then the evil team will find George and that will help them out. So yeah, let's start with Richie. Let's let Claire know that she sees Richie and then that'll be our night. Looks like she's in a conversation as well. So we will get her when she's done. Come on, Claire, you can do it. So the one downside to just online play in general is like when you're playing in person, you can literally just go over to someone and just keep tapping them until they wake up. a very active conversation it looks like they're having if she doesn't pick up now we will literally just send her a little message um because she can see that instead um yeah so i think we will just do one of the cards which is a good way to show the cards anyways um and because we don't actually have an exact card for this we're just going to do a player richie send that to her i don't know if she'll notice it but worst case she can always just come back um to me during the day and ask for her information and i'll give it to her that way which is totally fine yeah the cards okay perfect she saw it we're good let's get things started this should be a good time i'm just gonna quickly double check okay done our poisoner done our yeah, everyone who's seen the stream before knows this is how my brain works so this is all good. Yeah, we haven't done these things either because this is the other nights. We're on top of it. Anyways, everyone has their information. Our poisoner has poisoned someone. Our washerwoman has their information. Chef, empath, fortune teller, and our bounty hunter. We've nailed it. Let's start the day. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, town. Um, there's exactly one thing that may or may not be amiss in this town. Um, also, I'm dead, but that's separate. Anyways. Good luck. Alrighty. Okay. Who wants a chat? Mm. Oh, chat. Go on then. Who wants to be friends? Yep. Wrong button. There we go. Well, you. Uh, okay. I'm fortune. <laughs> I'm fortune teller. I've got a no on you and Alan. I just told Richie that I was the plus one. He said, "What? What? What are you?" I said, "I'm the drunk." You're the fortune teller with a no on who? Me and Alan. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh. Okay. So you're not the plus one. You're just being. No, 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 I am. What are you? you... <laughs> uh, you're a good role. You're not an evil role. I think. You I know I'm not an evil role. I'm a townsfolk. I'm a townsfolk. I'm a good townsfolk. You must be a spicy townsfolk. It's actually you start knowing. But I'm not going to tell you which yet. Oh, you start knowing. I think I can work this out. All right, I'm going to go have a think. Okay. See you later. Uh, bye bye. Okay. Uh, you do you want to give a two or something to like narrow down? To narrow down who I am. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I, I I've said I'm the investigator or librarian, but mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you're oh you're going two for two. You caught me off guard because then you kind of threw it out so smooth and with like such a swab yeah. that I. I, well, I just because I just I asked whether you're the recluse, so. Because. Yeah, I'm not the recluse. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm not the recluse. But it, if you want to give me anything else other than you're not the recluse, it, that's also helpful. But. I don't even know if you're telling the truth. I think you might be just trying to get me. see who else we've got. Is that, is that a little yeah. snap nod? Okay. Just, to, just to kind of recluse. I think it is, yeah, that that sort of thing. Okay. You know. uh, were you in my kitchen earlier? For legal reasons, I cannot comment. Okay. Because if you're like one of those, and this is a throwback here, one of those animorphs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the night these. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, you got well, my three claims. I've got your recluse yes. adjacent. You've ambiguously learned something about Ellen and Rose, and I'm kind of a recluse. Perfect. Game nice. solved. Thank you, Ricky. 
fun. Oh, everyone keeps leaving. Let's let's see what else is happening. Ah. Um, what are what are your fancy doing today, Daniel? Uh, a two or a three. I'll 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 take whatever you want. Um, I'll I'll tell I'll I'll. I'll I'm just going to tell you to think okay. of me as a kind of recluse, and you can do that information what you will. You can respond in kind. I'm going to write you down as the mess. Fascinating. I love seeing what people are interpreting that to me. <laughs> um, I will tell you I'm either the bounty hunter that's seen Richard, I am the good cult leader, or I'm the amnesiac that was woken last night and told one. What a thrilling set of claims. I'm more than happy to just execute Ricky off the back of that for literally no other reason. That'll do. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Cult leader, amnesiac, bounty hunter. Fun. Um, cool. Well, I mean... Uh... I thought you meant um, multiple if information related okay hi jams for chat's you... benefit <laughs> richie has claimed fortune teller is that a hard claim yeah yeah okay uh and i've just claimed to be the plus one with a, a you start knowing that's all i'm giving you today okay and we don't believe amy rose is the plus one we def definitely don't believe that Amy Rose is the plus one. But right. it's Amy doing Amy things, right? It is Amy doing Amy things. All right, nice one. Cool. <laughs> See you later. Bit. They or my other neighbour are, um, yeah, not good. Will be helpful, I think. Okay, cool. Would you, if you're going to bluff Night Watchman, do you want me to have confirmed you? Ooh, ooh that's so useful. Yeah, do you know what? Um... <laughs> Can we do that maybe tomorrow? Um, because sure. I don't, I, I just know some of these players will be like, "That's basically top four, fucking kill them." Um, Jams, I'm just deciding oh. whether to flash at JC or not with my lovely night lantern, because you know I sit <laughs> by the side of streams with dodgy boats and things, so it's gonna be fun. Um, but I've, I've, I've been honest with JC that my actual role is acrobat, but I'm gonna bluff. Night watch person because I don't want to be poisoned because I, you know, if there's a poisoner, um, I don't want to have any mischief. And I suspect we'll probably find another outsider, so there might be a Baron in play. Yeah, yeah, quite possibly. Um, so for claiming back, fortune teller with a yes, um, on two people. Uh, it's you know, what, uh, screw it. It's you and Amy Rose, uh, but I'm not like now that you, like the fact that you led by claiming plus one, I'm more inclined to think that's the red herring because it's such an easy thing to make the red herring the plus one. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and um, I think the discovering poison or drunkenness is quite a power. Is quite powerful. It, I, it's, I don't think it's game breaking, as Jam said. We weren't going to have any game breaking plus ones, but I do think Acropat is pretty strong with this uh with like the poisoner and a couple of the bits and pieces so yeah and plus detecting the drunk is going to be so useful i was going to ask that jams how would you rule acrobat because acrobat doesn't check for the drunk right it just checks for drunkenness or you make would you make an exception if acrobat was the plus so, one here interestingly in enough i i originally thought that the acrobat did not check for the drunk but i clarified with steve specifically and he says that the Ooh, acrobat wow. does include the drunk as the character so if okay. a neighbor if a good they have to be a good neighbor um yeah, yeah. but if a good player is neighboring the acrobat a, a live good player neighboring the acrobat is drunk the drunk drunk in general or poisoned then the acrobat will die starting from night two okay cool. yeah. Thanks for so, that's super Thanks. so yeah if, if i'm happy to sort of be with the night watchman backing up tomorrow but if we can keep quiet for... oh, 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 quick 
I do love that it's like, what? No, <gasps> get out of here, Amy. No, Amy. <laughs> I Amy think that's fine. Like, the day will just start, you know, without. <laughs> it's not really an issue. <laughs> In the meantime. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, if there's anything that anyone wants to say publicly, now, um, now is the time. Yep. Um, let's start with Daniel. I saw your hand first. We'll just go around, as always. Uh, can I pop a cult, please? Sure. Um, Daniel has asked to form a cult. Uh, the way this works is that if you can just raise your hand, if you would like to join Daniel's cult, um, if all good players vote to join the cult and Daniel is a sober cult leader, then a cult uh, will be formed. Please raise your hands in three, two, one. All right. Thank <laughs> That, um, I will go, um, Continue the day. A cult has not been formed. Daniel is not the cult leader. I can't believe you got poison sniped. Night one, Daniel. That's so unlucky. Who did it? Which one of you? <laughs> okay. uh, I think Alex, Alex, I saw your hand next. Yeah, um, I, I'm a bit dopey and forgetful, but I would like to point at three, character, three players uh, as per my ability that I think I've got. And the three players I'd like to point at are myself, Ellen, <laughs> and Lorinda. Thank you very much. Noted. Amy? Yeah, can I gossip that um, gossip is the plus one thing? Yep. Rob? Uh, hasn't been done. Uh, I would like to juggle uh, Amy Rose, Ellen, Brandon, and Richie as the librarian. You got it. JAC. Uh, could I claim Minion and guess George as the damsel, please? There's George, no effect. George, Richie? Damsel? Uh, Watch out for that guess. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can I claim Psychopath and uh, pick Ellen, please? Uh, yes. Thank you for that. Lorinda? That, that was my bit too. <laughs> oh, this time, uh, Ellen, just nothing happens. Claire? Um, I would like to juggle George, uh, the imp, and all four minions. And I would also like to claim Slayer and shoot Amy. What is your weapon of choice? Um, a pigeon. Yes. Devastating. <laughs> Um, Claire sends a pigeon to Amy. Unfortunately, this is a carrier pigeon, and so Amy receives a message that says, um, Amy catches it. Yes, <laughs> catches it. it. Uh, and, and then it plays with the kittens. <laughs> and does that dance I'm with sure, Amy. I'm sure the kittens would play with the pigeon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. Pigeon. Not like that. No. Um, there wouldn't right. be much of a pigeon left. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Claire receives back a single feather. <laughs> uh, nominations are open. And we nominate Claire. Mead. Right. <laughs> uh, Spent Slayer, Undertaker check. Claire. Um, no thanks. Take six, starting now i appreciate all of you uh being so thoughtful about the flower girl um <laughs> three is not enough the hand Lorinda so nominates now. richie all right yeah i was virgin hunting rich i invoke the pigeon defense Flat, flat. Take six. Oh, there is an evil ping on Richie. Yeah, this is it's worth a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's, it's a fake one. Okay, I've confirmed it. Six okay. votes I, is enough. I've, don't worry, I've heard of a real reason to do this. Richie and is Alex, on the block. Can Alex nominate Daniel? Yeah. Purely checking for a town crier. I do not want you to vote. I do not want any votes on this because I'm not a flower girl. I I do in fact want you to vote. Heard you loud and clear, Alex. Alrighty, 
Uh, six to tie, seven to die, <clears throat> starting now. Let's get some hands up. Let's tie this. Literally killing anyone. Well, I don't want to die. I want to tie it, please, George. <laughs> I'm happy where it is, but I just want a town cryer check. Alright, four votes is not enough. Richie's still on the block with six, and this is the last call for nominations. George might be a good execution. So, so I have heard of a, um, a bounty hunter that's seen Richie, but I've also heard of a librarian that's seen an out of play outsider. Both hard claims to me. The bounty hunter's lying. <laughs> Richard r nominates Rob G. You got it. Um, I have no information on Rob G. <laughs> Rob, anything that you want to say? <laughs> and it shall stay that way. <laughs> oh, dramatic. All right, wow. uh, six to die, seven to die, starting now. Until maybe tomorrow. I put my hand up on the strength of the nomination, to be honest. It was quite strong. I think we can all agree. I could make up information, but I've got nothing. Alright. Closing the day in five seconds. Why did we meet? Alright. Richie is violently attacked by a rogue pigeon and is executed. Oh. <laughs> Times. Oh. I'm not like that. Oh. Uh, and the game continues. Good night. Oh. <laughs> 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 not the... Oh, the pigeon noises. Um, oh my goodness, this is this is, this is too much. Okay, I mean that's that's about right. Bounty hunter is strong. That makes sense. Um, let's uh, yeah, let's see what our poisoner does tonight. Hey, hey. Hey, how's it going? It's going. Uh, who would you like to entice with your little uh, poison vial tonight? Ooh, um, I think I might. I'm trying to find somebody with the eat tonight ability. Um, let's just say it's Amy Rhodes, since a lot of people have been talking to her at, at, during the day. You got it. So All let's right. go that way. I also love your Princess Leia uh, hair <laughs> you got going on. Yeah, Thanks. This is uh, sometimes it just gets too big and it needs to be controlled. So <laughs> awesome. All right, Amy Rose, it is. Thank you very much. Excellent. Oh, that's quite fun because depending on who dies tonight, that might be really interesting and will also certainly play into the fact that Amy already went off of her zero, going, "I'm the drunk." So I think that's that's good. Um, Let's uh, let's see who George will protect <laughs> with his very useful ability. Hi. Hello. Um, um, you get to protect someone. <laughs> I'm sure that'll come in handy. Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't think I want to deny the star pass. I think I've got the team. I think I've identified who's evil. Who do you think uh, is evil? Uh, so I've heard there's a chef too, and I've, I've I took a punt on asking both Richie and JC, "Are you evil?" Because I'm, I'm pretending to be the recluse who's like, oh, let's see if I can trap people into claiming evil next to me. And JC says he's the Baron, with Alex as the demon and Amy Rose as the minion. So, fingers crossed that's true. Um, I'll pick JC, I guess. You got it. Thank Cheers. You. Oh, that's amazing. I love that for JC. Um, that, yeah, everything about that is quite fun. Um, and let's see who Daniel decides to kill. It'll be a very, very, very silly situation if there is no death. Hey. Hello. Who this would you like murder. to murder? <laughs> this is very silly. <laughs> um, so I think Ellen's an outsider. Amy's claiming librarian, but I don't trust that. I think Bob might be the fortune teller. I might be Amy to a double buff. Let's kill Jesse. JC, you got it. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, that's perfect. Uh, <laughs> it's genuinely amazing. Um, what? How? What are the odds, man? Like, <laughs> oh, I love this so much. I mean, I really feel like the only 
logical thing to do now is to give Claire JC genuinely. Like what cuz like what else what else do we do about that? Um just just every everyone on JC. This is so chaotic and silly and delightful and yeah. So I think that's going to happen. Um there's going to be no <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be no death. Um, oh my. Um, Amy's gonna get a one, which is great. Um, Alex is gonna see Richie as the Scarlet Woman. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's appropriate use of Recluse as an outsider because the thing with TB in this setup is that unless evil is bluffing outsider, like. It's base one, there's one outsider claim. Like, unless there's a drunk, that outsider's probably good. And so rather than have JC be confirmed by, like, as much as you can be by the outsider count, I think making it so that if Claire wants to get more information, like, they have to kill JC, I think is a good balance. So, yeah, that's, um, this is quite silly. Yes, this is true. Daniel might think that, um, JC is the evil soldier and yeah like from a strictly optimal perspective if George wanted to ensure that someone died um he could have protected Richie who is dead and therefore like isn't you know is is highly unlikely to be killed um yeah from an optimal play standpoint for sure I think it's really important and valuable to recognize that many players don't necessarily play with like optimization as their main priority as players um i we can go into this another time <laughs> um but i have i've actually been working on a kind of breakdown of different player strategies and player preferences um and in yeah a framework where essentially there are kind of a bunch of different ways that people play priorities that people have one way is optimization another way is just fun <laughs> another way is like chaos like i think people that have that sort of like performance type energy of like oh i just want to find like the biggest craziest silliest thing i can do like and do it like that is another priority people have when they're playing um there are some people who just are in it to solve the puzzle like that's probably closer to like my own personal alignment is like i don't actually really care if i win i'm much more interested in like what's the puzzle can i figure it out like so trying to optimize like some people prefer that um but yeah, just one of many totally valid ways to play this game. Um, anyways, let's, uh, yeah, so Claire's going to learn JC. Amy gets a one. Ellen gets to pick some people. Um, and Alex gets to learn about Richie as the Scarlet Woman. Um, all right, let's, uh, in no, and yeah, the order of these actually doesn't matter. So let's, um, let's talk to, looks like literally both Ellen and Alex are drinking things right now. So let's talk to Claire. Hello. Hello. Uh, I am going to point you in the direction of JC. Ooh, exciting. Indeed. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers. Alrighty, let's grab Alex. This is easy, we'll just go around the circle. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm alive with my lovely uh, spade that the built-in lantern for boats in the water. I love it. Mm, yeah, there's a, there's so many moving pieces <laughs> in your cemetery. Um, all right, you are going to see that Richie uh, apparently was the Scarlet Woman. Oh, interesting. I've had Amy bombard me with Richie's the fortune teller. We've got a fun fake bounty hunter. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, interesting i will i will run through the many scenarios where my information is wrong but i'm going to believe you have given me good information and i'm now not going to go confide in richie because that's a bad move but anyway thank you very much cheers yes all right oh that's that's quite strong for good let's um this will be fun though seeing the the contrast hey hello you now have a one I hope my names have changed. <laughs> Bye. Good luck. They have not. <laughs> Excellent. And our fortune teller. Hello. Could you uh, pick two players for me, please? Uh, yeah, let's go for Claire and George. 
Claire and George. You gonna know. Ooh, cool. Thank you. Cheers. Good luck. Alright, that is our night. So let's let's wake them up. Yes, correct. For those that have just joined, Claire is not actually the drunk character. She is specifically the bounty hunter, and we are using the drunk token as a stand-in because this is trouble brewing plus one random character which could either be in play or a bluff in this case it is in play and it is the bounty hunter which is her role and let's let's wake him up and tell him that no one has died <gasps> good morning uh it is it is a delightful morning in the town you you hear the pigeons gently um sounding their sounds in the sky um and just, just like that and and that is the only sound that you hear, for no one died in the night. Oh, it's a Ooh. zomble game. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Oh, yeah. So after I did the damsel guest thing as a bit, yep. George and I were chatting by text. And George might be playing me the same way that I might be playing George, so this could all be wrong. Mm -hmm. But in text, George outed to me as the evil monk and that there's a chef too. Um, because I told him that I was the Baron. Okay. So, interesting. Uh, I um, told him that Alex and Amy were the rest of the evil team, and I noticed George has gone to speak to Alex, so... Okay. Oh, this is so juicy. Um, cool. I got a no on George and Claire last night. Okay. So that all tracks. Um, I was leaning towards it. So, so what? He's he's the evil monk. Yeah. So he's so accidentally it, protected it, whoever the demon tried to protect. And, and we think it is a bounty hunter that's. If it, like if George was honest with me, which is a pretty fucking yeah. major asterisk on this, then yeah, it has to be. Yeah, because the only other the thing that I was vaguely considering is that there's been a few weird social things that I thought it could be a poppy grower and evil doesn't know each other, but. I do I have a poppy grower in a two, but the fact that George claimed evil monks. Yeah, in... that I'm willing to at least believe that for now. Yeah. Um. So and he said it's a chef. Oh, you're you're, you're a chef. George told me that it's a chef too. Apparently, Rob might be the chef. Oh yeah, Rob did claim either chef or investigator to me. Um, so that makes sense. And yeah, so George took a chance because it's a chef yes. too, and so it the, makes sense. Yes. To him so. Him. Okay. Um, right, so yeah. Um, if there's a chef too, apparently there's some information that Rich is a minion. Yes. So that could be our two. It could well be. Uh, obviously the recluse. It could be that it's oh, gone yeah, down true. from a three. But, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? That was Oh, Alex is claiming plus one. Um, I mean, I know I have a face that bullshits, but, but I, I'm not bullshitting. Not evil. Amy, Amy. No, I'm I serious. need you to believe me. I'm the pigeon keeper. Okay. <laughs> the, the pigeon keeper. The pigeon well, keeper. Amy, Amy we, you know both about <laughs> us, but we know nothing about you. Keeper, you just got the fortune teller killed by your fake bounty hunter thing. <laughs> if it was fake, I'm one of the two. You're the raven keeper. Okay, that's fine. But listen, I. You, <sighs> What getting, are you, other, you? getting good players with good information killed. Or oh, like evil players. players. How do you know no, he's evil? I have a ping on Richie. Richie is yeah. not good. Who so is your whatever other he ping, lied to you Brandon? was so convincing. What'd you say? What was your other ping? It was you, so I didn't think it was you. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's Claire! <laughs> What'd you say? It's Claire! It's not. No, it can't be Claire. I thought was, Claire was drunk, but now she's us. claiming to be. Claire just told us that she was the bounty hunter with a ping with an evil ping on Richie. She got yep. Richie killed. Now yep. she's telling us that she's the Raven Keeper. Well, no, she's I, not the Raven Keeper. I was doing that for a bit. <laughs> she's not the Raven Keeper. She can't be the Raven Keeper. What's your ping, Brandon? I'm the investigator. No, you're not. Oh God. <laughs> I am. That's a double claim with someone with who? That's not... Unbelievable. That's not a double claim. Rob is the librarian. I'm the investigator. Okay, well, that makes sense why you lied to me, because I told him I was the librarian. 
Okay. It's oh, just, it's just right. a piece you of lied about your you role. lying and uh, well, result to people well, lying to I, you. I, I, well, if you're the bad person, you then really, Alex Amy lied Ruff? to me because I spoke to Alex and said I was a librarian that saw him, and he. <laughs> um, and then I, I did. I said I was the acrobat. Amy didn't yeah. tell me which the outsider she'd seen, but she did really push me on. I know you're an off-script outsider, uh, so. Nice. Not sure what to read into that, but no. all I know from my ability is she is not drunk. And other hot gossip in town, I have spoken to George the Undertaker. Um, mm -hmm. There's a chef too out there as well. Um, yeah. He's dug up Richie as a Scarlet Woman. So I'm going to build some worlds around Chef 2s for now. Um, yeah. If you also don't mind passing that along for George, because I said I would do my best to um, pass that information along. Probably shouldn't yeah. have said George, but hey, hey, I trust. I mean, I want to build some trust with you. I won't be telling Amy Rose and Claire who the Undertaker is. I'll <laughs> be whispering to them shortly to say hot goss, um, and I'll probably say hot goss for my first chat because I know they both like to. to uh... <laughs> Hello, crazy. hello. It does tend to do that. <laughs> it's, I th in fact, I think that it's moved from me to you. Welcome back, everyone. Anything that anyone wants to publicly say? Yes, I would like to claim to be player and say that Alex is evil. Thank you. You got it. Mm. Alex? Um, just in case there's a philo out there, I'd like to juggle and I'd like to juggle Ricky as the Scarlet Woman because I believe that's some gossip from an Undertaker I've spoken to. Rich? Uh, I would like to gossip that the fortune teller has seen one of Amy Rose, Rob G and Ellen as not the demon. <clears throat> Can I nominate Alex, please? You got it. Uh, Alex is claiming to be an off script outsider. <laughs> um, I now believe another off script claim a lot more than Alex. There's also an evil ping on Alex. And I think we should kill Alex. Alex, so what do you have to say to this? Well, the good news, Amy Rose, is you can't be the drunk because otherwise I'd be dead. So Claire and yourself have good information. I know the information you said that you had on me would actually have me as good. So I'd like to know what the other uh, bad information is because uh, I don't believe it. And I think there are better uh, kills out there. I've got a Chef 2 number. So unless Amy Rose and Claire, you want to die as a great trio, I think we need to be looking elsewhere where we may find another evil uh, within two of Richie. Well, it takes five votes to put Alex up for execution, starting now. Six is a plenty, and Alex is about to die. Alex will nominate JC. You got it. Uh, just following the chef information, um, this is on the other side of, I believe, quite a trusted recluse. And uh, Richie has been dug up as a Scarlet Woman. So, a Scarlet Woman and a recluse. Um, I guess, Lorinda, you could also fall into this area, but I'll start with JC. Sorry, JC. JC? Uh, that's okay, I'm the goblin. All right, JC has claimed <laughs> goblin. It takes six votes to tie and seven votes to put JC and his goblin claim on the block. Starting now. I'd like to see this tied. No, I don't want to anything tie. but a tie. But I'm, would I'm a really bad kill. I'll be the seventh. Uh, he's going to tie. Let him tie it. No, we, need, we do need he's to tie. tie it. <laughs> Five is almost a tie, but not quite. Alex is still on the block with six, and I'll leave twenty more seconds. Lewinda nominates Lewinda. 
Why would you do this to yourself? Um, let's not kill Alex. All right. Take six votes to tie and seven votes to put Lorinda up instead. Starting. Alex. No. Alex is either the chef or an outsider, based on Alex's claims. This is not the worst kill. Or evil. Or just the fucking Undertaker, but it's all good. Three votes is not enough. I mean, it's fine. We killed the fortune teller Alex. and the Undertaker. It's Alex, I think it's fine. It's fine. We don't you're not the fortune though. teller. We're, we're doing our vibes only. Also, Alex, I am. I think you're, you're probably the spy. The spy well, I'm the washer woman who saw Alex's Undertaker, so Alex, Alex is the spy right. at worst. Closing the day. Alex, oh, Why are we doing this? Oh, Alex is actually the Undertaker. I'll nominate spy. Amy Rose, please. Okay. At the last second, JC has nominated Amy. Um, yeah, I assumed Alex was evil, but I could definitely be way off base. And if there's a washerwoman confirming that he's at worst the spy, then I am off base. Uh, Alex was seen in a fortune teller, yes, not from Richie, to be clear, uh, with <laughs> Amy Rose. Amy Rose was trying to push for us to not get Richie executed yesterday, and Richie claimed Scarlet Woman. So, you know, she's a logical execution here if we've got a washerwoman confirmed player currently on the board. And Amy gave Amy. me empath with a zero yesterday. Yeah, exactly right. A zero yesterday, and a one today. Alex is a spy. <laughs> JC is also in a bounty hunter ping uh, after Richie, so uh, it's very strange that... In fact, not strange, very uh, usual that JC is uh, trying to get this. Well, Why it takes six votes to tie, left? and seven votes to put Amy up for execution. What Starting now. Why are you let's, putting me on the block? Over let's the kill spy? Amy and let the demon kill me in the. Uh, what dark the mind. hell? These are all the good players. <laughs> is what is funny. wrong with you people? <laughs> Tie it. <laughs> all right, seven. I'm not, I'm not tying it. Is enough. I'm good here. Alex is safe. And Amy. I'm the empath with a zero about and die. then a one. Alex only is safe for the daylight. Day. In three. I'm sat next to the spy guys. Two. <laughs> <laughs> He's a happy spy. He's a happy spy. Oh, I'm a happy undertaker. I'm happy. Well, I'm having hands on me. From Jay Amy to is executed uh, by no less than seven pigeons. Uh, she dies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the, the game continues. Go to sleep. Of it. I was about to say it's a shame you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, what what a day. This is deeply deeply silly. Um, oh, thank you for the light. Uh, <laughs> so much better. I can see now. Um, all right. So we, um, that's, that's, yeah, that's a good kill for the, um, that's great poison, especially with Alex being potentially a spy. Um, so yeah, let's find out who Brandon's going to poison tonight. Call it woman. <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay. So I all feel right. like I've got the grim, like, slowly figured out. Um, as far as night order, if I pick Alex now, mm -hmm. will he miss understand who Amy is? So if Alex is poisoned tonight, and then um, if he's alive to receive information, then your poison would mean that he doesn't actually have an Undertaker ability tonight. So I could show him anything. So I could show him something evil. I could show him that Amy's like drunk. I could show him all sorts of different things. That might be fun. Yeah, if he if he's so the I'm Undertaker, thinking... like that would be what would happen so i'm thinking we poison alex he misreads what amy is then he tells his people that amy was lying all along which she has been lying a lot and that just creates more distrust and we just create chaos seems reasonable all right that's what i'm gonna i think that's what i gotta do jams sounds good alex it is thank you very much Mm -hmm. oh, I love how happy he is about this plan. This is fantastic. Um, we have some options there. It's entirely possible that Daniel might kill Alex tonight, um, but we'll find out. Hello. Hello. I would like it stated for the record that JC is a toad. Um, <laughs> in other news... Okay. <laughs> I, I don't really know who my evil team is. I suspect Ricky is on it, but he won't bloody tell me about it. So that's fun. Um, I'll protect 
don't know. Uh, Lorinda? Let's try Lorinda. Excellent. Thank you. All right, thank you. Oh, golly gee. This is delightful. All right, Daniel, are you going to pick the same person again? Let's find out. Hello. Hello. Uh, Rob G, please. You got it. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, that's quite interesting. All right. Um, so originally I was thinking it might be worth showing Alex drunk for Amy because it puts suspicion on JC. Um, I might still do it anyways. I think with Rob alive, it would have also drawn suspicion to Rob. Um, I, I'm i trying to think what... I think if Alex were really the spy, he probably would say he'd seen the drunk. But it's it's a tricky one. It's, it's a tricky one to balance out. I think... Yeah, I think drunk is probably... I think I'm still going to do it. Um, just because I don't think it's as helpful to paint some weirdness. Yeah, I think, like, either way, I think Alex will probably get to the world where he's poisoned. Um, we could we could do a false town spoke. I think my guess from, from what Brandon said when we spoke to him is that he would much prefer there to be more chaos and more, like, confusion around what Amy is. So showing her as the drunk, which makes JC actually evil and not the recluse, or showing her as the... Um, like like an evil role i think are our two best bets in this situation um yeah let's let's stick with drunk i think hey they've left me alive brilliant um (laughs) was amy rose an empath amy rose was the drunk excellent it's not going to bode well for me either. But thank you very much. You're Let's welcome. see how long we're, how much longer I live. <laughs> Sounds good. Cheers. Yep. Yeah. What's what's interesting here is like because specifically the washerwoman has seen Alex. Alex knows that he can't be the drunk unless George is exactly the spy, basically, or unless Lorinda was poisoned. Like it's very unlikely. Ooh, that's true. Yeah, we could. If Alex keeps living and keeps getting poisoned, it's entirely reasonable for us to show Baron maybe on the next person that's executed. Uh, let's make sure we don't forget Ellen, and then we'll wake him up. Hello. Hey. Who's it gonna be? I'll go for Rob and Daniel, please. Rob and Daniel. You get a yes. Damn, that's not what I wanted. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh, that's an interesting one. I think Daniel has got very good red herring odds. Um, Ellen might also think that she's drunk or poison. It's it's tough. I think Ellen's done a really good job hiding her role, and that might be quite a strong thing for the evil team to have. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I don't. I think Ellen specifically picked that because she thought she was going to get a no. What's really spicy is that that could, in theory, be a star pass from Rob, but. It's it's gonna be yeah that I think that's a strong piece of information for the good team. Let's see how it goes. Good morning. You once again hear the beautiful song of the pigeon, um, but you also see the dead body of Rob. Rob. That's fine. Um, can I make an announcement? Um, Alex has just told me that he's seen me as the drunk, which means he's definitely the spy. Um, because there is not a drunk in play that was supposed to be the plus one. So it doesn't work. It does not no, work. It could be I will openly confirm that just because the drunk token is received by the plus one character or the bluff, there can still be a drunk in play. Yeah. Well, I just don't believe that. And just to be clear, you're fairly empath, Amy? I am the empath, I got a zero and then a one. Amy's on the hooch. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not on the hooch. Alex is lying. What a way to phrase that. <laughs> so, again, don't think it's game-breaking information, but... 
Okay. You're not in a role swap with George, right? You spoke to George first yesterday. I just want to check you're not in a role swap I, with George. Yeah, I answered to George that I was the Undertaker first conversation of the day because I wanted okay. to trust somebody and I don't trust either of my neighbours and it was between yourself or George and I just thought, I'll, I'll, I'll trust George um, and then George said, oh, there's a chef too and I went, oh, good. <laughs> so that, that <laughs> paints you or uh, JC as potentially part of a chain. kill me. I don't. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, it's, probably kill you at some point. But you're just you're just a dirty spy at worst. So yeah, cares? at worst I'm a dirty spy, and we can deal with that or make the um, demon deal with it. Now, if we've got a poisoner in play, it's are they going to waste time poisoning an undertaker that no one's going to believe? Which means that I might get some good information, which could be interesting. Um, or if I'm the spy, it's how accurate do I want to be if it's that world? And again. Did you say how? No, there's no way you told me. There's no way you're actually the butler. Like, I am actually the uh. butler because I thought that you were just the librarian and had called that. If I'm the one to escape, the only way to get you to hard claim to me correctly on day one is to lie that I'm confirming you and then yeah. you might, might tell me the truth. Which is exactly what you did. <laughs> yeah, but you only. T no, but that's not. I don't think that's true because you already told me the truth. You already claimed but the truth. And I think the chances of you telling me the truth on day one are basically nil. True. <laughs> so I'm going to stand by that. You're not, you're explicitly not the butler. That's all I've learned so far. Cool. Perfect. All right. Have fun. Thank you. That's a great bluff from Ellen. Oh my goodness. I'm an evil townsfolk. Tell me if you're on my team. And uh, <laughs> JC, JC uh, gave me a fake evil team. Um, I'm pretty sure he's just a Baron, uh -huh. um, because he's oh. j joking my chain around. Okay, so I'm gonna try to talk to JC today because I haven't yet. Yeah. But I feel like the Grim seems like it's clear. It seems like Daniel's the mayor. Claire is either the drunk or some outside role. Amy Rose might actually be the drunk. Alex probably was really the Undertaker. I think he really was the Undertaker. I, I think so too. Rob is the librarian. So that leaves us with Ellen and JC and you. And so I think yeah. if you're actually an outsider, I just need then to maybe find the, JC. The, I need to find the third outsider. I, I, I believe JC to be the Baron. Like, it sounds like we have a drunk, but I actually don't have a saint or a butler in my grim. Okay. Um, so I guess they could be the plus one. I don't actually have a plus one in my grim right now. So it could be a weird okay. outsider for the third. Okay. All right. Or maybe. Or maybe there's no Baron in, in your... your if there's program. no Baron, then JC is playing really fast and loose. I I, I believe JC to be evil just based... Like, the Goblin claim is a big, big red flag, right? So, big red flag. Um, yeah, I I think I think he is trying to do something. So if it is if it is not a Baron, then it means this, there isn't a real drunk and probably Amy was poisoned at some point. Uh-huh. Um, okay. It's possible. That's very possible. Okay. So let right. me talk to JC and then we'll compare notes. All right, sounds good. Thank you. All right, talk to you soon. I like this so much. This is roll wrong as well. Amazing. I thought you might be poisoned, to be fair. Yeah. Although there is someone double claim my roll and they're still alive. <clears throat> yes, I'm aware of that because I think I nominated them. I didn't realize JC was in that thing until I heard the voice. <laughs> Sorry. The lift, Ellen, it explains the lift. Alright. Once again, anything that people want to uh, share publicly with the town? Now's a good time. Go for it, Amy. Yes, I would like to call uh, for Alex's death, please. Thank you. <laughs> We're not going to kill the goblin claim, because I want to. <laughs> um, I spy with my little eye. Amy Rose is pissed. Thank you. <laughs> On hoot. Thank you. Hooch always gets me. Hooch is crazy. Sorry. That's a... Hooch will <laughs> me. Dog like... sounds. <laughs> no, it's pigeons. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the open. What? Nominations are open. Amy Rose, did you want to nominate somebody? Uh, yes, can you nominate yourself, please? I'll nominate KC. Alright. Um... So I'm the recluse who's been trying to get my neighbours to out evil to me after I heard about the chef too. 
Um, JC obliged and told me a bunch of bullshit. Um, also claimed Goblin yesterday. Pretty sure JC is just evil. JC? Uh, I can confirm that I told George a bunch of bullshit. Um, but Jordan's <laughs> also saying bullshit. Um, so, my game so far, I'm the recluse. I hard claimed that to Ellen in my first <laughs> chat. Um, and had said to her, I will be telling nonsense to most other people for the rest of this game. Um, and then, yeah, when I did the minion damsel guess, George took a chance because he knew there was a chef too and asked if I was actually a minion um, because he was the evil monk. Um, so whoever is the bounty hunter, believe them. Uh, George is the evil monk. The chef too is probably including the pair of George and Richie as one of the two. Uh, it could be me and George as the other, or we could have a pair somewhere else around the Grim. Um, but yeah, if we want to have a safe killing an evil person, George is the way to go, not me. But I think it's probably better that we kill Alex um, to rule out the world where he is the imp right now. All right. It takes four votes to put JC on the block, starting now. I will absolutely confirm that I claimed Evil Monk JC. I think if you were a recluse with a chef two in a TV plus one, you absolutely see if your neighbors will claim evil to you. Uh, um, what did I say, and uh, then George? Four is enough. JC on the block. Any other nominations? Uh, I can't. Uh, can I nominate Alex, please? We'll nominate, yeah. Yep. Sorry. Of course. Uh, I'll pass it to him. Ooh. Okay, so there is a fortune tell yes on me and Alex. I am dead. I am not the demon. Um, there is uh, an a fortune teller's lying. Um, there is a uh, information that points to Lorinda potentially being evil, but backing the point. There's a lot that's pointing to Alex. We should kill Alex. I will be dead voting on it. Thank you, Alex. She's using a devil. So we've got the double claim fortune teller information implicating Amy Rose and I. So that should be discounted. Um, you implicating yourself in a chef too here, Amy Rose. I mean, we can take me out if you want, but I'd rather go hunting after more juicy evil players because I'm just not evil. All right. It takes oh. four votes to tie and five votes to put Alex up for execution instead. Starting now. I'll vote for you, Amy, if you want. Richie's going to drop, so we need you as well. We need five. Five is enough. JC is safe, and Alex is about to die. Don't know if we're going to beat that, but I'll leave ten more seconds. I'm not going to waste Town's time by counter numbing. I think Alex is really the undertaker. I think Alex is really the imp. Closing the day in three. If mm. Alex is not the imp, then we're running out of candidates pretty sharply. Alright, yep. Alex mm. is executed and dies. And a pigeon flies off into the distance. Uh, and, and, and the game continues. Good night. Uh -huh. ah. oh, crazy. I thought it was the death pigeon. <laughs> the death pigeon this is i don't know how we've gotten so stuck on pigeons but i'm here for it um that's quite a strong kill for the evil team i think uh let's yeah let's see what's happening um with our poisoner hey 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 how's it going it's going who uh who are you gonna poison tonight it's going swimmingly here um question about a role mm -hmm. bounty hunter if really employed is it a one-time ability or is it each night ability? so the bounty hunter ability is that you start knowing an evil player uh and then when the evil player you know dies you learn a new evil player so they get new information basically at the, the character would get new information if and when their original information is dead ah uh, okay I'm going to poison Ellen. You got it. That's my, I mean, here I'm just shooting. We haven't even talked, but it seems like they're eliminating a lot of it. So I'm just taking a shot here. 
Three point Love eight. it. Cool. Thank you very much. Ooh, that's really strong, depending on what happens next. Um, all right, let's uh, have some fun with George. Hello. Hello. Um, well, at least this time, I think JC should be safe from any rogue kills, because we need him alive. So I'll, I'll pick JC, please. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Love that. All right, let's uh, see who Daniel's going to take out. Hey, hey. Hello. Claire's pretty much confirmed now it's the bounty hunter. But I love Claire, I don't want to kill Claire. <laughs> this is this I'm is a relatable. nice demon. <laughs> <laughs> nice demons kill their friends. This is true, let's kill Claire. <laughs> Very well. <Thank> you. <laughs> yep. I'm blaming you, Jams, I'm blaming you. <laughs> it wasn't when meant she, to be guiding. <laughs> when she comes from it tomorrow. Gotta say Jams told me. <laughs> Just say a little pigeon told you. Yeah, a little pigeon. Just say it. a death pigeon came. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it might have little George will have protected Claire anyway. Oh, dear. Thank you. Bye. Oh, that's quite funny. Um, right, uh, we have a dead bounty hunter. Um, hooray for balance. And then, so we've just got Ellen, who is going to get some crap, depending on who she picks. Hello. You are still alive, and it is. <laughs> I cannot hear you though. Hello. Hey, there we go. Yeah, still alive. Um, I will go for Daniel and Brandon. Daniel and Brandon, you get a no. Okay, cool. Next. Yep. Cheers. Well, that was the world's most clutch poisoning. Uh, well done, Brandon, for that. Um, that's quite interesting because it'll make it basically seem like there's red herring exactly on Rob or Rob star past or like, yeah, there's there's some weirdness there. Um, but I'm not mad about it because it at least hopefully buys Daniel another day. Um, and other than that, yeah, let's let's wake him up. Good morning. Good morning. The death pigeon has come again, and this time it's come for Claire. Fair enough. Fairly predictable. All right, just six of you live. Good luck. Right. Can we finally kill Casey today? <laughs> Hi! Finally, finally we get to be friends! Goodness gracious. It's weird that we're neighbors and we've never talked. Yeah. It's so weird. Um, what's going on? Um, not really sure, to be honest. Like, just trying to put all the pieces together. Are you willing to claim what you are? Sure, let's claim. Should we just hard claim? Yeah, I'm good with that. It's quite late on in the game at this point. Um, okay, cool. I'm the fortune teller. Nice. I'm the investigator. Oh, nice. So, um, oh, you want to share information? Yeah, it'd be cool. like, who did you see? So I saw Scarlet Woman, Richie and Claire, both okay, dead. Yeah. So yeah. that's why when the very beginning, when a lot of hands went up for Richie, I was like, cool, I'm just gonna observe, you know? And then I spoke yeah. to Claire and she claimed to be an outside role. So I thought either she's completely lying, she's drunk, or she's actually that role. And then I mean, she died just now. So it was like, Ooh, Yeah, wow. and Rich has been claiming my role all game. Um, so I'm fairly confident oh. that Rachel's just the Scarlet Woman. Got it. Okay. Um, what information have you gotten? Um, so I'm so there's been in the information about the yes on Amy and Alex. That was the first thing I had. Um, so they're both mm -hmm. dead now. So we'll see. Um, I then got a no on Claire and George. A mm -hmm. yes on Rob and Daniel, which I don't think is correct. And I especially don't think it's correct now that um, I've got a no on you and Daniel as well. Okay. So I suspect Rob's my red herring, um, and then, or okay. I've been poisoned at some point is the other thing as well. Um, so... Because regardless of who you believe out of George and me, there's a recluse in the game, 
Yeah. Um, there's no other claimed outsiders, so it's not no. a baron. Unle- I mean, unless you and George between you are, are pulling a recluse bluff when there's a, a hidden drunk somewhere. Possibly. But the, the way it's going down, I'm choosing not to believe <laughs> that yet. I'll revisit that on Final yeah. 3 if I need to. Um, but yeah, if there's not a baron, that means Alex's claim that Amy was the drunk is a lie. Uh, or not a lie, um, is not true. Um, yes. So my suspicion is that Amy was poisoned the night her number ticked up to a one, and Alex was poisoned the night he saw Amy as the drunk. Possibly. Um, and what that means, crucially, is it means that Ellen wasn't poisoned when she got the yes on Daniel and Rob, and we've killed the other two people she had a yes on. So unless Ellen was poison sniped night one, and, mm. and then Daniel is her red herring, then I think Daniel has to be the demon. I mean, I, I absolutely see that world. I also see a world with Alex as the spy explaining Amy's number ticking up. Brandon is just the investigator. Um, the thing is, he said he had a ping on me and Richie. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. Well, thank, thank you, Daniel. You. Justice, justice done today. Thank you. <laughs> I have a feeling that was them outing. But yeah, like I said, I um, it's tricky because I don't want to be too obvious about it. Um, but yeah, let's see. I think that's been about long enough for a day. Let's bring him back. Daniel, you're looking a little bit evil now. I'm looking a little bit evil. Yeah, the JC support makes you a little bit evil. Well, I trusted JC. Maybe it was misplaced, but I trust JC. I trust JC. I think that JC is yeah. the only outsider in this game. And therefore, I'll let you like, What is that? <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, what's happening is that there is a death pigeon circling this town and wreaking absolute havoc on everyone here. Um, oh. But also, uh, yes, <laughs> also nominations. That, that that particular pigeon was the nominating pigeon. Um, nom <laughs> nom pigeon. If you nominate JC. Oh, God. There was a bunch of people at once. Who said that first? Either or. I don't I mind. Think, I think it was George. Okay, great. I'm sure uh, there's lots you could say, but yeah. It boggles my mind that there are people who trust JC. Um, the man has been allowed to get away with... Double claiming me, claiming Goblin, and being in a bounty hunter pin, um, while getting moved off, like, off him yesterday to Alex, who almost certainly is good with, like, a somewhat good information. Um, JC is evil, could easily be the demon. Uh, yeet. JC, shall we yeet? Uh, I claim Goblin. Alright, JC has claimed Goblin. It takes three votes to put JC up for I won't, I won't stand. I won't stand for it. No. I'm not bad for it. It might work. Richie. Good, good. Alex, you don't need to vote on it. Oh, oh Ali. No, 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 no. You're, you're not a godly. You're just evil. This Five votes over. is <laughs> a plenty. JC is about to die. I don't wow. think we'll beat that. Uh, but just in case, I'll leave like, I don't know, eight more seconds. Uh, I'll, I'll nominate Daniel. All right. Uh, we absolutely should kill me today, but I just want to go on record that I'm like 99%. No, no that's way too high. Let's go with like 90% sure that Daniel's the demon, because I think regardless of who you believe out of George and me, there's one outsider in this game and it's a recluse over here. Um, and that means that either Alex is the spy or Alex was poisoned the night he saw Amy as the drunk. Um and either way, it means our fortune teller wasn't poisoned when they got a yes on Daniel and a dead player. So I'm pretty certain Daniel just is the imp, but we're not going to overturn this, so let's do it tomorrow. Daniel? Anything to say? Uh, I agree with all of that, other than the last part. I am the mayor, I am perfect red herring territory for our fortune teller. Alright. It takes okay. five votes to tie and six votes to put Daniel on the block. <laughs> Starting I think it's... now. Unless the fortune teller was sniped on night one, then the red herring has to be Alex or Amy. Because we executed both of them. Alright. Five is zero. Not What is numbers? The pigeon has gotten to my head, you guys. Daniel's very safe. <laughs> JC is still on block with five, and I don't know, three more seconds? These ones all count even better. Why would JC be put in as the imp? into a bounty hunter ping at this stage of the game. 
I don't think I don't think I think he would. He was the imp at the time. I think he is either just evil or wow. could have become the imp or could yet be the imp. I think we can all agree that the death pigeon has come for JC and he is executed and dies. And the game continues. Good night. All right. This is this is a very silly game. Um Let's, uh, evil's in a decent spot, honestly. They've got, th I mean, the fortune teller's still alive, but they've also got three evils alive. Um, so I'll be quite interested to see what Daniel does here. Um, because I think, you know, right now he can kill into Ellen and Lorinda, if, but that gives the option that they'll kill him tomorrow if they can build the world where there are three evils alive, which I think they might do. Um, so either way, it'll be very close. But yeah, let's um, quickly go visit uh, everyone and see see what they're doing. Becoming the Lorinda of Gen Con in the. Hello. Hello. Okay. So this is going very swimmingly. Uh, Glad you things think so. are on. They're on Daniel Heavy. Uh, I have no idea what George is still for some reason. He claims to be the recluse. I don't know if that's true. He might be lying. Ellen is, if I remember correctly, she's claiming to be the fortune teller. I need to poison Ellen again. Yeah, I need to poison Ellen again. That's what I do. I poison Ellen. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brilliant. So she stays poisoned. Let's see what George will do. <laughs> hey, uh. any, oh, I don't uh, need a dick here. Any any thoughts so, on any thoughts on what your team is at this point? Like I don't. I, I think it's Daniel, but Richie is playing extremely hard to get, which I I respect. Um, I, I do believe Richie's been a dead scarlet woman, but he will not give me a, a hard name. So, uh, but I think it is Daniel, and I'm going to protect Daniel. You're protecting Daniel? Yeah. You got it. Cheers. Thank you. Oh my god, if he tries to start cast, this is... Okay, well, we'll find out. Hey. Hello. I should start pass, but I'm not going to, because where's the fun in that? If Chan want to kill me and win, then good deserve the win. Let's like that line of thinking. Keep, let's keep Helen alive. Um, okay. let, let's kill Lorinda and hope that George hasn't protected Lorinda. Fair enough. You got it. Cheers. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that um, that is balanced, I think. You know, not terrible. Let's uh, see what Ellen does. Hello. Hello. You're still alive. The longer I live, the less I trust anything that you give me, I think, is yeah, what's going to happen. Um, I will go for Lorinda and Brandon. Lorinda and Brandon. You get a yes. Okay. Cool, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, might as well just give her some obvious crap at this point. Um... She's the only good player alive. I think she might um, she might know that. She might not. But it'll be an interesting day, no matter what. Let's let's see what happens. I really can't make any evil worlds unless you two are able to get together. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, the death pigeons are circling high in the sky. They're getting... Um, you'd think they would be full by now after all of the people that they have successfully come after. Um, and yet, and yet, they have come for Lorinda. Okay. Well done, death pigeons. Oh, dear. Well, at least we've got Twitter in uh, Ravenswood Bluff. <laughs> <laughs> death pigeons. That's an interesting one. I think it's a... Uh asleep i think we've got all three evils. well not all three three of the four evils still alive yeah but so the thing I, is I, 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 my my thing is is that if we've got 
Hmm. That's true. Do, do we know where the chef is? Because I thought you were the chef, Rob, and then Amy told yeah, you I'm the chef. chef. Okay, yeah, so I'm you, chef. that is legit information. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking because honestly, what is Brandon? Brandon is either the investigator who's seen a Scarlet Woman, and I have no idea where the poisoner is, or Brandon's the poisoner. Ellen, Brandon, Daniel, and Jason, JC or George. I only think we've killed one. Why is Alex not in it? Alex read socially good. I reckon he was poisoned snipe day one. Alex was. Yep. You mean night because two? he. Night two, yeah, when you got a raid on me, because he seems okay, so, so, in... so. Listen to me here. If yep. Alex was poisoned tonight, night two, okay, that's where the yep. poisoning went. Yeah. Night two, I got an empath one. That doesn't work. <laughs> Alex is. Okay. One of you or Alex is evil, and I'm happy with that. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not evil, and okay, therefore. Therefore, Alex, Alex is, evil. is evil. Fine. So I'm happy. evil team with Alex in it without protecting Alex. I, I, Alex is also dead. Like we can Yeah, on. agreed. But build the evil team around Alex. What's the evil team from your perspective? Which Alex, Daniel, Ellen, and possibly JC. The evil turned townsfolk. Oh, would... Claire Bogroff. <laughs> if I'm evil, I'm just evil. <laughs> Why? Why does this happen to me? <laughs> I just, I just, I, here I am, just telling the truth to everyone. It's like, about being the recluse. Me, so what's recluse. your world? Like, what's your world? My world is that it's like both JC and Rick here evil and are both having enormous fun trolling the hell out of me in this place. <laughs> As a recluse, okay. Yeah, they, they so are taking a... it back and forth. Like, JC so there's a chef the too. Where, yeah. where's, where are the rest of the evils in your world? Presu well, presumably, uh, it's... I, my guess would be Ellen, based on the Fork and Terror information, because it might... But I think you were for the first three nights. I think I was for the first three nights. Um, so then what... Like Amy or Alex is my red herring, and then Daniel's and then, just the demon. Is the easiest world? Yeah, yeah. And, and you're the only living good, I think. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> so we yeah. Uh, in my world, like so, you I, know, I'm not convinced on Brandon. Um, I think Brandon could be good. I think there's definitely a world where Brandon is good, but I don't know why your info is wrong. Like who? Like That's there's true. a world where Lorinda. So who did you get the yes on last night? Brandon and Lorinda? Yes. That can't... Yeah, no. I think Brandon has to be Brandon's the poisoner. Brandon's poisoner. Because Brandon's... George isn't. And in a world where Daniel's the imp, yeah. Brandon can only be the poisoner because Lorinda, even if Lorinda was a minion and killed, then they wouldn't still be poisoning you when you got your info, would they? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Scarlet Woman. Okay. Yeah, so... I don't think there's been a star pass in this game because I think Ricky and JC are both minions. So I don't think you can be the spy who became the imp. So I think you'll just lick it. Um, yeah. I'm just what? I think you're just who you say you are, which is fine. So. Well, as I've got the whole grip, I'd really like to kill Daniel, but. That's... Me too. People often say that. Sorry. <laughs> At least it's a safe environment now. Alright, there are just four of you alive, so if all alive players would like to go to sleep, you're more than welcome to. We'll go to sleep with <laughs> alive. Um, I, I, yeah. Yeah, but we should vote. Time, you and Ellen are still in the double claim, Richie, so that doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, I'm definitely going to nominate today. I think there's a <clears> chance that I'm the only good player left alive because I think we might have evil townsfolk left and a poisoner and the demon. Um, so I'm willing to get Town's opinion, but I think Daniel's the best bet. I'm, I'll am i share all of my information. Um, Not I'm to real... meta jam, jam, but I doubt that, that she would let that happen. I mean, it doesn't really... There wouldn't really be a choice from Jams, because it would be evil doing the kills, right? Um, but the... Yeah, for my information, it's... Um, I got yes on Amy and Alex. No on um, Claire and George. Yes on Rob and Daniel, no on Daniel and Brandon, and then yes on Lorinda and Brandon. I think at least the last two days are probably poisoned. Um, so I think that some of the true information, it might be that George isn't the demon and Daniel is the demon. 
Uh, um, Ellen's evil. Just, just to clarify, counterclaim. I, mean, I, yeah, I, I told Ellen. I told Ellen day one basically. I'm either a washerwoman, librarian, or fortune teller. Um, yeah, you claim my role to my face. I know, I and, then I got, and then I got killed for it. Um, um, no, you've continued to lie, Ellen. Uh, Jam, the yeah. nominations. Because I'm being open. poisoned. Nominations are open. Yes. Oh, can Daniel uh, nominate Daniel, please? You got it. Why would you do such a thing? I uh, trust that one. It's me. <laughs> All right. It takes <laughs> you uh, two votes to put Daniel up for execution. There's no Starting. way. It's... Do it. There's no yeah. way it's Daniel. We need to keep Daniel alive. He's the mayor. We need, we need four on this, by the way. Like, I don't think we. we... we need... We need, yeah, we need, we, need, we need more than that, I think, uh, right? Because no, oh, no, no, Richie spent no, no way in the Daniel. Go for it, Daniel. Well, put your hand down. Oh. Oh. Four votes. So it was, like, there's is no way this is enough. Daniel. Daniel is about to die. I think Brandon. Yeah, sorry. There's no way Daniel's being silly and trolling. Daniel's the mayor. We need Ma Daniel to be alive. <laughs> I think Ellen yeah. might be telling the truth. I well, think her her information is very tainted. She got poisoned by someone. I don't know who. I think he's just lying. <laughs> I don't think Look I was Ellen's poisoned. Smile. Oh no, that disconnect. That's an evil. Because yeah. Brandon's saying he thinks I've been poisoned. No, can you guys hear me? Been poisoned by My Brandon. connection just <laughs> dropped. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that George is evil. I nominate George. All right. Jason then... is the real recluse. George has been bluffing behind JC the whole time. It was excellent. Very well done, sir. Now it's time for you. Oh, I don't even want anybody to die. Can we, can we somehow tie this? What? How many votes were for the last one, James? There are four votes currently on Daniel, so four votes will tie. Oh and five shoot! Votes. I want Daniel to die, but I don't want Georgia. him to die yet. <laughs> George, unless he's there. for sure the demon. I think if we're going to vote someone, we should do George. Anything you'd like to say in response, George? Uh, the people who voted for Daniel include at least well, I think two people I think are evil in JC and Ellen. Um, so my preference is to vote for Ellen today. I think probably have the poisoner on the block based on how today has gone. Um, okay, so you get in the bin. Uh, don't go in. I'm Rick Reese. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, it takes four votes to tie and five votes to put George up for execution instead. Starting now. Dan Daniel, you don't want to vote to get this off of you? No, it's fine. That's what the heck is going on in this game? Uh, we're about to lose. Right. I think. Ellen, yeah. Ellen's one is one. not enough. Look at that grin. Who's the this one? I'll nominate Ellen. Ellen. Yeah, right. look at Ellen. George has nominated Ellen. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Of, of the claims available today, I think Ellen's information is the most obviously nonsense. I I don't think the yeses check out. I don't think the noes make a lot of sense. Uh, I think Ellen is just the demon here. Um, Ellen. I agree that my information is partially nonsense. That was part of my accusation. I think I'm still being poisoned. I think there are multiple evil players still alive. I think we've probably got the demon on the block. I don't know why he didn't vote there, but I think there's no chance of them lifting it, so it doesn't really make a difference. But we can't go tonight because I think I'm the only good player left. Well, four votes will tie. Five votes to die. <laughs> Starting now. Uh... I think they're going to try and tie this. Daniel, can you vote with this, please? We need your vote. I want Ellen to live. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's going on in this You can game? join my team, Daniel. I believe... Are we trolling? Let's see. Ellen, you are the only person left to nominate, and you can nominate Brandon. Would you like to do that? Nominate me. Um, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh my gosh, well. what is going on? Uh, Daniel, it appears, oh. <laughs> it appears that you have summoned the death pigeons to your mayoral cottage. And they come flying down. They they gently peck at the bread that you have left out by your feet, and then they murder you as they do. And the game is over. What the heck just happened? And JC's <laughs> team... Has won. <laughs> I trust you. I trust you implicitly. I'm happy to say that now, JC. We are it on is, the same team. It is, in fact, the good team. Ellen, you are correct. The good team has won. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so I think <laughs> Ellen, <laughs> Ellen and JC did a fantastic job. Lots, everyone did a fantastic job, like right out the gate. Um, but in particular, there was some really strong solving going on quite late in the game between JC, the actual recluse, and Ellen, the fortune teller, uh, who was poisoned for about half of the game. Shout out to Brandon the Poisoner, who also had incredible yeah. poison snakes throughout the game. Um, he did uh, hilariously on the first night poison George. We'll get back to that. Uh, but then sniped Amy Rose, the empath, uh, when she had originally gotten a zero. And immediately she said to me, I'm definitely the drunk. Uh, and then I said, well, I will oblige that. Um, here's a one the second night on the same neighbors. Uh, he then poisoned Alex, the undertaker. So I showed Alex Amy as the drunk to just cause more confusion and also uh, mess with the outsider count since it might throw a little bit more suspicion on JC. Alex was confirmed by Lorinda, the washerwoman, uh, which was great for getting Alex off the block, although at the expense of a <clears throat> empath, uh, so less great. Um, meanwhile, uh, Rob, the chef, got a two. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll come back to that. We had some options with Rob. Uh, Claire, <laughs> Claire was our plus one. Claire has a drunk token because Claire was the sober and healthy bounty hunter. Uh, Claire originally saw Richie, who was in fact the Scarlet Woman. Um, love you, Rich. I'm sorry to throw you under the bus like that. Um, but it felt relatively balanced because Claire also put an evil monk into play. Um, George <laughs> heard the chef too that Rob had. The chef two could have been a one with Richie and George. It could have been a two, which it was. It could have been a three because Brandon was on the other side of JC as well. We ultimately went with a two because we felt it gave the most options and wouldn't immediately give away to George exactly where the entire evil team was. Um, I did immensely enjoy following George around, hearing him eventually just claim evil to people. Um, and the only person who really outed to him at the beginning of the game was JC, the recluse who immediately said, I'm the Baron. Uh, Amy Rose is the minion and Alex is the demon and George said okay and went and talked to Alex and then went and talked to a lot of people um, <laughs> the worst and the then worst eventually <laughs> eventually started outing uh, evil to actual evil players all of whom refused to out evil back to him uh, <laughs> until Daniel the imp uh, who you have just killed and therefore the good team has won the game that was your TB plus one that was loads of fun thank you all so much for coming to play thank all right, you everyone I'll run I'll see you soon right. yes everyone <laughs> head over to the Pandemonium Institute stream I am going to send chat over there as well um, but lovely lovely to see you all and we will catch you all uh, yeah next Thursday same time same place uh, brilliant thanks for joining us chat um, and yeah let's get Good some game pigeon, game. pigeon sounds to send it out <laughs> <laughs>